What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Banger. <laughs> so I am back with another video. I debated whether or not I wanted to come on here real quick. I'm not gonna make this long. It is what it is. <laughs> but you know, as you know, I go through my moments where I'm in my feelings, right? <laughs> Hey, I'm a human being, okay? I may have more feelings other days than uh, most people. But, you know, it's just one of those days. There's always something going on in my life. It's never, ever easy. Point blank, period. It just isn't. I don't know. I, I don't know, y'all. So, let me see if I get y'all a little closer. So it's never easy and it's like when things happen to me I'm just like something's gonna happen I'll figure it out I'll figure it out so I've been stressed right so whatever so I was sitting in my car a long time yesterday just sitting in my car like like mm, what am I gonna do what am I going to do? So, you know, just a crappy day. Whatever. <clears throat> so, now Bobby needs her hair done. I don't know what I did yesterday. Bobby needs her hair done. So, I started the process to do her hair a little late. I don't remember what I was doing yesterday. But I was running errands and stuff. And a lot of times I'll get to my destination, make a call, making calls and the calls aren't working out and making more calls. <clears throat> so here I go, my little spinny thing, nerves bad. So it's about maybe nine o'clock at night. We kind of got late start on Bobby's hair because we had to take it out, comb through it. And then she had to shampoo it. She don't know how to blow dry her hair. We need a lesson on that. Oof. I was like, Bobby, this is basic one on one. But anyway, it's not about Bobby. So then, uh, so I'm starting the foundation for her hair to do her hair, whatever. And it's and we're watching. I don't know we're watching. Some people are stranded on an island, but they're really in prison. It's I don't know. It's weird. So we didn't know what to watch. So you like I said before in another video, that's how we bond to. We end up watching movies and stuff. So she, earlier today, you know, that was yesterday. So today she was like, mom, I'm going to start. I was like, no, I got to do these things. Don't you start without me. So I don't know what time is it. Let me see. What, you know, I love telling y'all the time It is 415. So we'll probably get started about 445. She's downstairs making us popcorn. I want to show you guys how we make your popcorn. It's good. It's with the kernels. It's so good. Whatever. So. You know, so I'm just like, it is what it is. I'll deal with whatever I have to deal with. Tomorrow's a new day, right? And I wanted to take Clinton down to get his ID. But after doing all my running around, all the calls I had to make and doing everything, it just got too late. So we, we didn't go. So he did. I did get the paperwork to fill out the application, so on and so forth. So then we're watching a movie. It could be about 10 o'clock. I don't know what made me something just said I, it was like the spirit just lifted my body and moved it towards her window seriously and I looked out the window you know I don't hang out in her room often so I was like Bobby can you see my car from your window because I was like my mind must be playing tricks on a sister okay I was like My car is not there. You sure you can see my car from your window? And she was like, yeah. I was like, well, it's not there. So we both, she was like, huh? So we both go downstairs to see the car. So I opened up the garage. I didn't even go to the door. I opened up the garage, you know, the garage door. My stuff is gone i would like to use i'm gonna tell you right now this is a disclaimer i would love to use other word choices in this video but you know i'm bound by the spirit of the gods and the laws of uh good language 
but trust and believe there is another language I would prefer to use in this whole vlog okay okay so so I'm really trying to tone it down and abide by the rules of being a minister like teacher because teachers are considered you know they're classified in the same lines of minister as far as their behavior and so forth so anyway i'm like my ish is gone okay <laughs> and i'm like what the flipper okay i'm like what what i was like did my car get repossessed? I was like, what the f And you know, my heart is beating fast and I'm starting to panic, but I'm cool about it because I'm used to hardships. I'm used to stuff going wrong in my life. So I'm just like, this is so cool. I was like, I'm, my, they either repossessed my car, so I'm on my phone trying to check. I was like, but my bill, my car note was only eight days late. I was like, I was gonna pay him when I got paid. I was like, do they repossess your car for eight days? I'm like, damn, eight days? And I was like, somebody, and of course, everything is closed. So I'm trying to uh, uh, do um, customer service chat, instant message. I was like, maybe that's gonna work in. Nobody, I tried calling. I was, it was 11 o'clock at night. I'm still trying to get in touch with somebody. I'm like, I don't I don't know. I was looking on the door if there was a card or a card on the ground or a card on a, the um, garage door. I was looking for any signs. I was like, Joy, they either repossess your car, stealth mode, because we didn't hear anything, or somebody stole your car. Your car is stolen. So I was like, well... And I started texting some of my friends. I was like, ain't this some boo? Boop, 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 boop. And they was like, for eight days, usually they repo maybe 30, but typically three months if you're behind. I'm like, no, I've never been that late on my joint. You know, I've been a couple of days, but not no 30, you know, because when you get 30, 31, they be putting out on your credit. So, I, you know, I try to abide by not going over those, those number of days. Okay, stuff happens. I get lots of surprises, whatever, okay? So, I'm like, so Sydney is out with her friends. I'm like, Sydney, I hope you can get a ride. And I explained to her, I was like, my car has been stolen or has been repossessed. And I explained to her what there was. So, I can't pick you up. So, you're going to have to get a ride. I'm sorry. It is what it is. W I'll figure it out. I'm like, how the hell am I going to get to work? You know, I don't got no extra coin for this. I'm like thinking, how am I going to get to work? How? What's going on? I'm just freaking out. But I'm still cool. I did not cry. I was like, Joy, you can't call the police because you got to see if they repossess your car first. You got to wait it out till the morning. My stomach is doing, my stomach, I, I was feeling kind of peckish before this happened. I was like, I couldn't even eat anything even if I wanted to. Then I went and sat down. I didn't even feel like, I didn't even finish Bobby's hair. I was done. So I'm, and you know, my mind is just racing and all these thoughts. I'm like, how am I get? I said, I know I'm going to get through this, but like, damn, my sister can't catch a break. I'm just like, what else do you want? I can't, I just can't breathe. So I'm like, what? So I, we heard it. You know, so I, I did start um, doing Bobby's hair again. I, I took like a um, five minute nap. My nerves were bad. So I closed my eyes for just five minutes. And I was like, then Bobby came to the room looking like a <laughs> lost puppy because she doesn't like her hair. You know, just her hair not done. So I was like, all right, Bobby, I'll, you know, I'm going to get back up. And it could have been about 11.30, 12, maybe midnight. And so we hear a noise. And she, Bobby was like, oh, that must be Sydney. So, no, before that, I texted Clinton. I was just like, let me just see. And I'm like, Clinton, Clinton, hello, hello, texting. He, he wasn't home either. So I'm like, hello, hello. Um, and then maybe 30 minutes later, this is before all this, he was like, yes, Joy. I was like, he done lost his mind calling me Joy. And then I was like, did you take my car? Did you take my car? I don't know. Neither Bobby, Bobby or I believed that at all. I was just asking. I was just like, let me just just say it never in a million years would I think he would you know take my car and I was like hello hello no response then Sydney comes home 
and we heard a noise you know i'm doing bobby's hair again then we heard a noise and i was like you heard that and she was like yeah that's probably sydney and then she comes in she was like mom are you playing a prank on me i was like what are you talking about she says are you pranking me i was like pranking what what, what are you talking about all three of us were just confused she was like your car is in the driveway and i'm like what are you talking about sydney my car is gone it's gone point blank period gone i was like don't be playing with me sydney i'm not in the mood to be playing around because my nerves are bad <laughs> i was serious look i wasn't in no joking mood either i was like I, it, that's not nice sydney she was like, no, mom, I'm serious. Your car is in the driveway. And I was like, so Bobby and I both got up and went to the window and there was the car. Clint has sent a message. After we figured all this out, yes, I, had, I took your car. So my son stole my car, found my spare key. No ID, he doesn't have an ID, zero. Doesn't have a driver's license. And as far as I know, he does not drive well. Took my car. Honestly, I think I was shocked. I think I was elated that I had my goddamn call. I think the elation kind of took over my thought process, really. It was the elation of like, whew, thank you, Jesus. And then I had to deal with your boy that y'all think is so cute, so sweet, so sweet that y'all all feel sorry for. Y'all gotta stop that. Y'all gotta stop that. Uh -huh. A boy, a black boy driving around. What if I called the police? If I was one of those panicky people? And what if he went to jail? That's what he would have said. I would have pressed charges. Because I'm sorry. You don't do the crime if you can't do the time. You stole my car is what you did. And you driving without a driver's license. And you don't drive well. You're not a, 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 an experienced driver. And he's talking about, well, I went to... You know, this is the smoke screen. Well, I went to my friends. It was, he only lives four minutes away. I went to talk to him. Oh, I'm bawling right now. I'm crying right now. You know, I just feel bad. You know, you know, I'm not doing anything with school. But when you left the house, you left talking about you going to get some chips and queso. We were laughing when you left the house. So where did all this come from to think you could sneak? You either had my keys when you were left for the chips and queso or you snuck in a house. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. So I think that was just a smoke screen. So I took a different approach. Where's my key? I tried not to yell. I sat down and I listened. And then I said, you know, I explained to him the dangers of what he did, how wrong he was that he did. <clears throat> now I got to get a lock for my door. The girls already have locks on their door. The trust factor is not there. I didn't yell. I listened. Then he's talking about, you know, you know, I didn't go right to college. I didn't do this. I was like, who the hell cares? I was like, a lot of people don't know what they want to do when they graduate from high school. I didn't. I said, but you still have to have a plan. I said, you been sleeping on this couch for seven months doing nothing. You see me struggle literally every day. You watch me stress about money every day. And you do nothing. Absolutely not, not even try to deliver a newspaper in a little community where we live. You're doing nothing and you're watching me. You're watching me come home late. Kitchen, sometimes full, full of dishes. Because the girls will come home, they'll start eating. I mean, but he does take care of the kitchen. I'm not going to take that away from him. But you, you're watching all this and you're doing nothing. You see how tired I am. You see I'm trying to hustle this YouTube and I'm up at 12, 1 in the morning. Try. I said, you see this and you still do nothing. I said, in another few more months, it'll be a year. 
And what is it, still gonna be nothing? You sat around for a year and did nothing? You guys can say it's my fault. Say whatever you want, okay? Say whatever you want. I got my own problems. Say what you want. But the point is, you don't take my car and you don't have a driver's license. And in this white neighborhood, you driving around, I call the police, not knowing what happened to my car, seeing somebody stole my car. Who knows what would have happened to you? You know what I'm saying? Who, who knows? I live in a white neighborhood. Little black man driving around in a stolen car. Guys, I'm done with it. I listened, then I said, you have to have a plan, okay? You didn't go to school after I died. I, I, it's like, I don't have the energy anymore. I, I just don't have it. And I told him, you don't have a plan, you gotta come up with the plan because this is not working. It's not working. So I said, tomorrow we're gonna go down and get you the ID. Cause he, he can't, he really can't make any moves without the ID, okay? I left it alone, told him to give me my iPad. Um, he had been using my iPad because my iPad has data. His cell phone does not have data. He has a, a broken phone, one of his friends gave him. But he used my iPad as um, for a hotspot. iPad. Cracked. Screen cracked. I hoping it it is just my um you can't see that but I'm hoping it it is all here crack 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 brand new cuz I got new service and you get this for like $5 or something like that cracked up Yep so he claimed that as his no I I got that for school cuz when I take attendance I like to walk around the room anyway so I said give me my iPad um and when I, okay, let me go back. This turned out to be longer than I thought, so I'm gonna try to make it short. So let's fast forward to the next day. I didn't have any energy after I sat and listened to his nonsense is what I listened to. Nonsense and the smoke screen. That's what it was. Oh, I didn't, I didn't finish school. I didn't graduate and I feel bad. You know, I wanna thank you. I wanna thank you for, for everything you've done for me. Smoke screen. That, that's what that is, a smoke screen. And I should have gone uh, to graduation. Uh, I wanna thank you. Like I'm trying to keep it PG, y'all, cause there are some other words that I would like to use, okay? Anyway, let's fast forward. Bobby, you got a popcorn? It's good girl. Bobby, show me your top bun. It's cute. Bobby, I put I made her a little uh front bun. Bobby made that popcorn bowl. Look at that. Look at that. This is good. Let me see. You got my raisinets? I like my popcorn raisin. Raisinets. Raisinets. Bobby. Ew, what was your thoughts with the car? Y'all. Come on, I Bobby. I would have never. Come on, Bobby. My hair not done, y'all. But look at her little top one. My hair not done right now. My hair not done. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> but I would have never, never, say it, mom, never, 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 mm -hmm. ever thought that he would try some stuff like that. I was shocked. I was shocked. We were both floored. And then Cindy come in the house talking about some, your car, your car is here. I'm like, what? We were just we was watching a kind of a scary little freaky show at the moment too. So it was kind of crazy. I was like, dang, did we miss it? We miss did we just not see it? I thought Sydney was playing. I was getting upset with Sydney. Yeah, that would have been rude if she would have said something like that. But here's the thing when we went down to So here's this. Here's next day. Fast forward to next day take him to get his ID. I'm like, I gotta do her hair. I'm going to speak with the pastor. I need Jesus in my life, right? <laughs> so I'm going to, I have an appointment to speak with a pastor at two o'clock. So 
So I'm like, Claire, get up. Well, mm, I'm tired. Can we go? Can we go tomorrow or the day after tomorrow? I said, that's Thanksgiving. Well, can we go Friday? I got to go to school tomorrow. And it's the last day the school is open. Uh, no, we need to go right now. And what are you so tired for? I'm tired of doing nothing? Get up. So anyway, I grab all the documents, birth certificate, social security card. Here we go. They check out paperwork first. The ladies can see that I'm frustrated. She can see I'm the frustrated mom. She looked like him. Well, son, where's your school ID? Oh, uh, 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 my school ID is at Reese's house. I'm like, Clint, she doesn't know no Reese. You know, <laughs> she don't know no Reese, Clint. And then she was like, well, son, where's your diploma? I said, he chose not to go to graduation, so he didn't get his diploma. She was like, son, you earned your diploma. You need to get your diploma. <laughs> I had told Clinton for months, get your ID from Reese. Over his head. Clint, you need to work on getting your diploma from the school. Over his head. So, needless to say, we can't get him an ID without showing some proof of his ID. Reese, so he texted Reese. Reese is in like some fancy ski resort skiing with his family. He probably don't know where that ID is at either. Reese gone. So we can't do nothing with Reese. We can't do nothing until school opens back up to get a cop to his diploma. Hopefully they still got that and they ain't shredded. So here we go. Still no ID. We get home. I upload a video. It was already uploaded. I just need to do a thumbnail for the 20 chicken challenge, right? I go talk to the pastor. I need Jesus. I, I'm at my wit's end. Literally, y'all. At my wit's end. And y'all know I talk too much. I think I talked to that man for a whole hour, nonstop. <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry, mister. I'll be here and I'll talk to you all day. So if you're up for me running my mouth, I'm sorry. I want to apologize <laughs> because I talk a lot. So overall, really nice guy. We talk, 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 right? We prayed. He prayed for me. We prayed. He says, okay, we hold hands. I was like, sure. I cried, you know, I was crying, whatever. I'm going through it, y'all. He prayed for me. He said that um, overall, you know, he said all the good things. He said, I don't want to say a but, and I don't want you to take it the wrong way. He said, but you need to seek out God and seek out his word and, you know, you know, put more energy into learning more about him. And I understood that. Okay. Whatever, but he didn't throw God up in my face. It wasn't, it wasn't about God. This it was more like therapy, really. Then I was like, do you think you could talk to my son? Because I think that he, he, he doesn't hear me. I, don't, I think my kids are immune to me. And he was like, yeah. He says, I said, oh, can you do it today? He was like, well, I'm about to go home. <laughs> I, didn't talk about, to go. I didn't talk to him about 19 hours. <laughs> He says, well, I, I'm going to go home. <laughs> really nice church is a huge, beautiful church. So we have to go to church one day, Bobby. And um, I, I said, well, can you talk to my son? Maybe different. Maybe he needs that counseling or something like that. So he said, yeah. He said, maybe we could go get some coffee or some. We can go to Starbucks. No, so he just wants to talk to him outside of the church. And he said, I said, well, what time, Pastor John? What t what time? He says, um, um, I'll be here at 10. I said, well, will 11 o'clock work? He was like, that'll work. He says, now, if he's open to it, don't, don't force him. I said, I won't. I get back. Guess who's gone? Clinton, gone. into thin air. 
he doesn't have my iPad. Unless he's at someone's house using their Wi-Fi. But he doesn't have my iPad, which he would use for the hotspot. Gone. So, guys. That's the update on y'all cute Clinton. That cuteness, they don't work with me. I'm tired. I'm so tired, y'all. Tired of the struggle. <laughs> well, that's all I got. Getting ready to go finish her hair. <laughs> What are your thoughts on it, Bobby? I have no words. No words. But it's like it didn't even happen. He acts like it didn't even happen. Yep. It's like... It's like there's a disconnect. And I said, you have to enlist. I'm sorry. But we can't do anything until we get the ID. Now we gotta wait till school opens back up. Now we gotta wait till Reese comes back off the slopes. And whatever foreign country he's in, because all Clint's friends have coins too. From two family households. Coin family households. Um, I sent him a text that you need to come home. You gotta go meet and hang out with Pastor John. That's what you do on tomorrow. Yep, eleven o'clock. We drop him off at Mr. John's. I don't care. He can sit right there and wait. All right, God. You can pray for me and pray for Clinton. Pray that he stays alive. Give this video a thumbs up. I don't even care. Don't say that. I, I'm just. Uh, uh. Hi, Sydney. All right, um, give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, share, subscribe.